Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another Ableton Live video tutorial, and let's just jump right into it. We're going to be making a cinematic explosion hit that just is really dope. It's kind of the sequel to the one I did before, way more dynamic, much better. I'm much prouder of this one than that other one, but the other one's dope too. I'll leave a link to that if you haven't already seen it. Go check it out. And uh, this is the sound we're going to make. Pretty sweet, right? A um, couple of things you're going to need in order to do this right. You're going to need the um, brass pack, the orchestral brass from Ableton. You're going to need Ableton's operator. Um, you're going to need um, the drums that come with the suite, I'm pretty sure, the timbalas drums. Or, you know, you obviously you can just get your own samples from somewhere else and use those. Um, and this massive patch that I made for a quick massive sound tutorial a while back. I'm going to leave links to that on the blog off, so you got to go download that or follow along, better yet, follow along with the tutorial over on YouTube to learn how to make it yourself. But anyway, um, on top of all those, I'm going to be using this Contact uh, Olympus Elements choir instrument, which is just super epic. If you don't have it, you should go get it. Um, it's so realistic, it's so clean, it's so uh, just... It's epic. I don't even know how else to explain it. But uh, this is what I'm going to be using here. Sweet, huh? Um, if I unfreeze this and come in here, I'm just using the Olympus Elements Staccato Ensemble. I didn't even have to change anything on here, and it just sounds so dope. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started and just make something, huh? Uh, I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to delete everything. And I'm just going to start with this contact player just so we can get this out of the way because I know not a lot of you have it. But like I said before, go get it if you ever want to use a choir inside of your tunes. High quality. And what I have here is just a G1, G2, G3, G4. No big deal. And it's just all hitting on the same one on that staccato. I also have um, the Ambient free ambience reverb on one of the uh, return tracks and the Ableton's ping pong delay on the other one and um, I got a lot of reverb on that and just a tad of ping pong delay. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze that up and I'm going to go ahead and control shift T to add another MIDI track and I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to hold control to duplicate it like that I'm going to come in and what I'm going to do is get rid of this four highlight these three, hold down shift and the down arrow to get it down and then I'm going to come into the packs and the trombone section mute legato. I did a tutorial, the last cinematic hit tutorial I used the same technique um, I suggest you go check it out, obviously links on the blog blah 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 but for this top hit I want actually I don't want it to be as pronounced as these bottom two so what I'm going to do is click on this top note and pull the velocity down and that's going to change the actual sample inside of the instrument rack. So uh, it should sound pretty good now. Let's go ahead and solo this and see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty cool, right? And if I pull this back up, this is what it sounds like if it's all the way up. See how it's kind of harsh right there? I still want those, um, those high notes in there, that high frequency, but I just don't want it opened up like uh, the G1 and the G0 down here much better for me and I'm going to put on some reverb again it's maybe too much cool alright and I'm going to freeze that up just to keep it going so my computer doesn't freeze up on me <laughs> control shift T to add another MIDI track this one I'm going to pull this down um, and fold it up and I'm going to be using uh, the G3 I believe so what I'm going to do is delete those other two pull this all the way up click on it shift hold down shift in the up arrow to get a G3 I'm going to come into uh, the plugins drop massive on here I'm going to come into the drop down these are all my presets and Joshua Casper effects explosion deep this should be um, available for download on the on the blog if you don't want to follow that tutorial links to both either way and uh, what we're going to do is turn on this noise now I don't remember if I did the noise part for that tutorial without the noise on this is what it sounds like let's solo this up 
Um, but I, I want to turn on the noise down here, and it's on Murmur, and the color is all the way up, and um, I'm using the second envelope that looks like this, and I'm actually going to turn the decay up and the release up too. And then I'm going to take the amp and just take that envelope and apply it to the amp a little bit and just turn the amp just up a tad, and let's see what that sounds like now. So as you can hear, it's just adding a little bit of top end to it. You know, depending on how, how epic you want that. I'm just going to pull it down because I'm going to be adding some drums to give it more of that uh, rigid hit sound, but that sounds pretty good for now. Bring out of here, freeze it up. And the next thing I do is Control Shift T, and um, I'm going to come into the drums. And there's the timbala A, B, or C. They're all pretty much the same. I'm going to take the C, drop it on here, bring this down. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to use this mute. And I'm going to use this open. Pretty nice. And I'm going to turn up the uh, reverb too. Sweet. And now if I play all of those together, it's already sounding pretty epic. And now the last final touch would be Control Shift T and Again, duplicate that, um, and uh, I want to come in, fold it down, get rid of this. I want to put it on G1, just so everything's hitting on G, just to keep things simple. A, G, shift down an octave to G0. I'm going to come into, wait, is that negative? Oops, up, G0. And I'm going to come into uh, instruments, operator, hip hop, sub bass. Drop it on here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and just pull it all the way over. And then I'm going to come in to solo this up. I'm going to come into the second oscillator here and just bring it down like this. Let's see. So that's pretty sweet, and if I just, just turn this down a little bit and play them all together, this is what we have. And that's a pretty epic hit if you ask me. Um, you might want to go in and do some EQing like on that massive. You might want to take out the sub just so that sub has more room to breathe. Um, you could come in and do some more EQing and stuff like that. But I think this is a really good hit and it's a really nice place just to start making your own hits instead of going to that vengeance pack every time you need some sort of effect. It's just super crazy how how easy it is to get your own effects sounding super dope. I mean, this just... That's just epic, man. I can go ahead and plug that into a sample pack and sell that all day long, right? Anyway, um, I hope you learned something. I, I hope you get motivated to start making your own effects and things like this. But um, you can definitely expect more um, coming about cinematic stuff. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.